So what we're going to do is something called a number talk. And I know that Mr. DJ has done something similar with you before, but I wanna go through the rules and the process for all of us so that we're all on the same page and also for the people who are going to be viewing this at a later time. So what we're going to do is I'm gonna place a number problem on the board. And what you are going to do is solve it. Sounds pretty easy, yes? Sure. Yes. Good. This situation, this problem that you are going to solve would be very, 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 very simple. If you had a calculator, if you had that square-ish thing in front of you on with the screen, it would be very easy probably if you had pencil and paper. But I'm gonna ask you to solve it with brain. your brain. I know, scary, yes? Yes, no? Yes. Scary. Uh, so what I want you to do is simply solve it. Uh, there will be uh, many ways to solve the problem and I'll encourage that. When you're thinking, you're gonna place your hand here. Show me how you can do this. Yeah, do it, great. This means you're thinking. When you come up with one solution to the problem, you are simply going to do this. And what I will do then is notice when everybody has one way to solve it. If you have another way to solve it, you will place two fingers. And if you are fast enough to have three ways, you will place three fingers. So when I place the problem on the board, thinking, once I have a solution, if I have two ways to solve it, if I have three ways, and so on. Notice that during that time, it is going to be silent. So you are thinking. When you have an answer, you are not screaming, shouting, jumping, or doing anything crazy. Does that make sense? What questions might you have about that process first? Beautiful. Perfect. Thinking. I'm going to place the problem on the board silently. <laughs> like we all have at least one solution. What I would like to get from you now are some answers. So I don't care really what the answer is, we'll deal with that later. So feel free, I'll take volunteers to just tell me some numbers. What might you think the answer could be? I have one volunteer, go ahead. 36. 36. Others? Any other solutions that you would like to offer for the group? So we all have 36. 44. 44. Any others? 46. 46. Others? Awesome. Now, what we are going to do is I want to get some of your thinking from you. So what you're going to do is defend one of these answers that we have on the board, since we've captured everyone's uh, solution. So do I have a volunteer that would like to defend one of these answers, front and center? Which answer would you like to defend? 36. Okay, tell us your thinking. So 70 minus 30, I heard, and that is 40, okay. And then from there, you subtracted four and came up with 36. So what you did was decompose the 34 into its tens and ones, 30 tens and four ones, and you subtracted those two pieces separately and came up with 36. Does that capture your process? Great, thank you. Uh, anybody have another answer they would like to defend or even another solution path for 36? Go ahead. 
So I made 34 into 40, so I minus or 40 from 70. Okay, so you added 6 to 34 and did 70 minus 40? Yeah, that equals 30, and I added 6. And this equals 30? And I added 4. And then you added 6 to this? Or added, yeah, yeah, the 6. And came up with 36? So you made a similar problem here by adding six to get to a friendly number of 40. And then since you added six there, you realized that you had to do the same here. Other questions or problems we would like to defend? Go ahead. Uh, for 36, I um, broke 70 into 30 and 40. Then minus 40 by 34 and got six then added that 6 to my remaining remaining 30 to get 36. Fantastic. Now I captured the first part of that. So let's keep going. I heard you say I broke 70 into 30 and 40. So 30 plus 40 is 70. And then right. I took the 40 and minus it by the 34. So 40 minus 34. And got 6 and then added that set to the other 30 that I got from 70. And that's how you came up with 36. So decomposing 70 into 30 and 40, then subtracting 34 from that 40 to get six and adding that piece to the other. So you see that there's a relationship between these three numbers and add the six there to come up with 36. Other strategies? Go ahead. Okay, so you are thinking something like this? Yeah. Am I capturing this correctly? I don't remember how to do this. Okay, so you're using the traditional algorithm that we were all taught in school to solve it in your brain. Awesome. Others, go ahead. What would you like to defend? Oh, um, 36. 36 is fine. Um, I just simply added up from 34. Uh -huh. So, can you be more specific and elaborate on that a little bit? So if I'm capturing this correctly, you started at 30 and added tens to get to 70? Yeah, but I took away. And can you comment on why you took away a couple? Well, or how many? Because I left out the four, so I started at 30 and I just got Okay, so since it really was 34, you subtracted that out of this 40? Yeah. Okay, so then you were thinking something along the lines of 40 minus the 4 that we over counted to get 36? Yeah. Okay. Great. Any other strategies for any one of the solutions? Go ahead. 36 again. Great. Go ahead. Um, I just added 30 and 34 to get 64 36. So 34 and 30, and you said you came up with 64? And then added 6 to 64. Added 6 here, and came up with 70. So you counted up to get to that point. So similar to this, 34, and then we counted up to get to 70, and how much will that be? So you have the 30 and the 6 is the amount that we counted up for 36? Yeah, like thinking of it like addition, the variable. 
So, you know, blank plus variable equals blank. Uh, okay, so you were thinking of it almost algebraically as, a, as an equation and what operations you might be able to do to get to the answer. Great. Any others? Go ahead. I know that 70 divided by 2 is 35. So, but the question doesn't involve 35. It involves 34 and 36. So I just take one from the 36 and put it or from the 34 to the number 36. And does that make sense? Kind of. Yeah, Let's see that. if I'm capturing your thinking here. So you started with half of 70 is 35, and then you said a known fact for you was 35 and 35 is 70, and then you subtracted one from this 35 but added one there to keep it balanced, and then you have 34 and 36 is 70, and we know with the properties of addition and subtraction, that these three numbers have something in common, so we must have our answer of 36. Right? Thank you. We have another. I'm interested in 36. I think this one might just be a bit of a brief coincidence, but if you put the equation backwards, so it's 43 minus 7, it's 36. And so comment then quickly for us. What do you mean by this might be a freak thing? It's not everything you can solve like that. A lot of these other solving methods will work for other things, but not everything is going to equal what it is when you put them down. Okay, so you're saying this example might not work for every single problem. We might be able to find a counter example, but in this case it just happens to be magic and works. I like it. Thank you for sharing. Uh, we have two, so we've talked a lot about this answer. Are there any of us who would like to defend a 44 or a 46? Or has our thinking changed through this process? Go ahead. Well, I realized what I did wrong. I get 46. Can you comment on that a little bit? So I just, instead of, uh, like I, I just my mindset was like, all right, I'm gonna take 70 and subtract 30, and then I subtracted four from uh, from the 40. So I didn't I didn't subtract it right though. So I ended up adding it on accident. Just okay. What way I did on accident, but I didn't see what I did wrong now, where I had to do it the other way. Around. Perfect. So. Yeah. Through your thinking, you weren't going to decompose or break down this 34 into 30 and 4, but you realized that you had made a, a, an easy mistake yeah. uh, to come up with 46, correct? Yeah. Great. Uh, are we good with the 44, or do we want to comment on that? That is our number talk for the day. I appreciate your willingness to first uh, look up here, second, think, and third, uh, share your thinking with me so that we can wrap <coughs> things around how you think about addition, subtraction. So thank you. You did a great job.